Good afternoon, family. It's your DC Dude, and welcome to another Dining with that DC Dude experience. What's that? Oh, 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 the Grub Pub bag? I told y'all on the last video, you seen the last video about New Year's, and I told y'all I do Grub Pub. Stop playing with me. Let's get out of here. Let's go to our restaurant we're gonna go to today. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, then welcome aboard. I invite you to subscribe and hit the notification bell as to stay in the know about where we're gonna go. So for today's DC dining experience, we're headed to a restaurant called Mario's Pizza House, simply referred to as Mario's. Now, we're about to cross Sousa Bridge so I can demonstrate what east of the river is referred to because this restaurant is east of the Anacostia River. Now, I had someone the other day say, Craig, why are you always saying east of the river? What are you talking about? So I, it, it dawned on me that people don't necessarily know what I mean when I say east of the river. So I thought I'd come on this side, cross to the bridge so, we, so I can explain that a little bit. So right now we're crossing, there are five bridges that cross this Anacostia River. So the that side, that land you see in front of you, that's all east of, of the river. I always share with people how near and dear this area of DC is to my heart. I grew up in Ward 7. I don't know if you've seen the videos on the wards, but Ward 7 and Ward 8 are the wards east of the river. And this is where my passion lies. We're on Pennsylvania Avenue now, and we're, I guess you could say, bearing to the right, not necessarily a right turn, but we're bearing to the right onto 23rd Street, and, and Mario's is right here to the right side of us. Okay, so we landed safely. Mario's is located on the corner of 23rd and Minnesota Avenue, like you see, like we just came right off of Pennsylvania Avenue. Um, it's been a DC icon for many years. As a matter of fact, to be exact, since 1936. Now, I did some research about restaurants and they say that the average restaurant lasts five years and they say 90% of restaurants fail within the first year. 90% first year. So, so that, I, thought, I found that pretty to be pretty interesting. And the other thing about that I want to note about Mario's since 1936 is, is what I have a problem with. So this time last year, I set out to do an article on my website called offbeatenpathdc.com that was is completely about east of the Anacostia River. And I was disturbed to find out that a restaurant that had been around for 84 years had not one stitch of information about its history online. Nathan, on the other hand, restaurants on the other side of the river and nothing against these restaurants because I love the restaurants I'm about to mention too but I'm just making a point restaurants like um, Florida Avenue Grill in Northwest that has been around which has a great story and I, I, I can't wait to do a story about them because they really have a fascinating story as well they've been around since 1944 1936 um, let me see Ben's Chili Bowl uh, Ben's Chili Bowl has been around since since 1959, and and I go online and it's wonderful. The history is laid out. All the stories are laid out. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I find that disturbing. So I say, well, before I do this video, I want to find out what the oldest restaurant is. And, and in my mind, I already knew. I didn't know exactly the date that it, it came about, but I knew that the oldest restaurant in DC is called Old Ebbett Grill. Now they've been around since 18, 1856, 1856, a long time, right? And then I made a list, Occidental Grill and Seafood Restaurant, 1906, The Tabard Restaurant, 1922, Martin's Tavern in 1933, Osmond and Joe's Steak and Egg, which is a cool, pretty cool restaurant in Tilly Town. I love diners anyway. They've been around since 1934. And then, the sixth one on the list is Florida Avenue Grill, 1944. This should be number six on the on the because they gave a list of ten. So this one should be number six. So then you have Ben's Chili Bowl, 1959. But before Ben's Chili Bowl, 
is Shrimp Boat. So that, and Shrimp Boat is, is not on the list either. Another East of the River restaurant. So is this an East of the River thing? Probably. Now to be fair, and, and, and if I want to get technical about it, which is what I usually do, you know, the definition of a restaurant is a, I looked it up and it said, a place where people pay to sit and eat meals that are prepared on the premises. So, Shrimp Boat or Mario's don't apply because there's no way to sit. In fact, once we go inside, you'll see how small the little area is just to order your food. But it does not excuse why these two restaurants, Shrimp Boat and, and uh, Mario's, have been around for so very long and there's no history written about it anywhere. Until now, until now, you just got to go to offbeaten pathdc.com to my blog slash website whatever you want to call it and uh that you know i started i started a chain of history hopefully it, it continues about things east of the river because it seems like the only time they have news about east of the river is when there's something negative going on you know and 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 that's why that's what that that website is all about in fact it's called east of the anacostia river is Washington DC too. Hello. Hello, we right over here. It's part of DC too, you know. That makes up the 68 square miles of DC. <laughs> so and the only way I was able to write an article about this restaurant is because um the owner's son, the current owner, because they've been the owner for I believe it's six to eight years, something like that. Their son is named Sam. And Sam, he was cool. He opened the door to me, he told me some cool things about the restaurant. Their stove. I don't know if he was joking when he said the restaurant was built around the stove, but he said that it is the ri the original stove since 1936. And but you know because the restaurant was built around it, they can't take it out. And then he also said that whenever some one purchases it, purchases the restaurant, that they have to stick to the original menu. So I thought that was kind of cool. So and speaking of their menu with their steaks. You know, with their uh, steak and cheese sandwiches, because that's my favorite. That's that's pretty much all I've been getting for years and years. So I just stick to the same thing. But apparently, you know, they don't use steak them. You know, like you kind of see restaurants do uh, that thin, you know, thing they just chop up or whatever. They you apparently they use ribeye. That's what he said. They use ribeye steak. That's what he said. I mean, all I know is it's good. And I'm I'm about to step in here in a second and 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 get one. My stomach is actually growling. So I'm gonna go in here and. Um, Get my favorite steak and cheese and, and give you guys a, a peek at the restaurant. What's up, man? What's up? You want anything? You want some, like, try get the off? Yeah, on the side. On the side? Yes, sir. One more on the side? Yes. Yeah, I'll take, yeah, take that on the side. Yeah, I'll take that on the side. Yeah, on the side. Yeah, on the side. Yes, we got to make this brief, family, but Sam agreed to let us go to the kitchen and check out the kitchen. Good, good. So like I was telling you, it's a pretty small kitchen. Hey, what's up, my man? I remember you. We took a picture. We took a picture last time, right? Hello. We're just going to do a YouTube channel about your restaurant real quick. So is this the oven you were telling me about that's really too big? Uh -huh. Wow, and it's too big to get out of here. It's been yeah. the original oven. Yes, sir. And they use the original recipe as well? Original recipe for the sauce, the dough. Hey, what's up, boss? Everything. Hey, well, I appreciate you, man. Make it real quick. No uh, we, we, we're going to post it on Friday. Okay. Okay. Nice and simple space. Like I said, pretty small area. There's the front door. <laughs> and it's like, almost like a walk-in closet. <laughs> okay, family, here we go. I got my steak and cheese. For those who haven't been here before, it's, a, it's just steak and cheese. <laughs> it's steak and cheese, you know. I mean, I'm just I'm just sharing with you what it looks like here. Let's see. Uh, unveiling other steak and cheese. This is the steak cheese. Steak and cheese unveiling. <laughs> see what I mean about the the real ribeye meat? Like it's not it's not a steak and type quality. Delicious and a lot of it. Oh my goodness! And I got my French fries. So you know, the basic curry out style. 
Let's put ketchup and uh, salt and pepper on, on the fries already. Nothing to really see here. <laughs> it came a big old bag of fries. Like, um, what's that place? That place that gives you a, a, a big old bag of fries. Like this called Five Guys. And a huge shout out to Sam for letting us get a sneak peek at the kitchen. We really appreciate you for that, Sam. And and uh, feel free to leave comments if you want to continue the conversation about some things that I didn't cover on this video about the restaurant that you want to share. Wow, as we always say, if you want to ride, just click on subscribe.